Without further ado, Brad Bernstein, the director of the film we just saw. Also with us is Rick Zakowski, co-producer and editor of the film, and the great Tommy Unger. And we said, why not you know, see if anyone's done a, a history on him, a retrospective visually? And that's how this started, and we wrote him a letter. Um, and not long after I wrote him the letter, he sent a response back that said, call me any time but early. <laughs> and so we called him early, and that's how this kind of whole saga started. And that was in 2007, yeah. the end of 2007. So, and it's been an incredible ride, really understanding who Tommy is and getting to know him, and uh, it's been amazing, even with his demons. I, I, I've never fe felt really, in a way, betrayed by the media or anything like this. So, uh, but he was American. And so I did know, so I'm, I had no experience with the American medias. Uh, but uh, just the sound, uh, the way, the wording of his letter, and uh, I talked it over with my wife and Aria, and uh, we just decided to, well, uh, the thing is you have to give it a chance. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, I must say, I, 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 I really, you really look like a jackpot, you know. Look at him, yeah. And uh, no, this is Jack, and this is pot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and especially, I mean, what was really totally different in this is was really the animation that you did. The, you know, like uh, really absolutely. Uh, the first thing that we assured Tommy was we would never change any of his lines. It's really important to him. And then the second thing was is the intent was always in the photograph. We or the uh, the art. We never had to change anything. So um, the only thing that was a little bit weird was when we went and showed him um, the scene where the coming to America. I I drew hand drew the uh, waves, mm -hmm. and when we showed Tommy, he's like, I love everything except the waves. <laughs> so I was like, Oh, all right, well. That was the only kind of uh, thing that he didn't like from the first time mm -hmm. he saw it. And Rick has been devastated. So devastated. <laughs> In fact, at the drawing center, he, he was drawing waves, and I turned to my wife. I'm like, he didn't like my waves, but he loves his. Well, as, as long as they're tidal. <laughs> I left in 71. And one of the reasons, really, one of the many reasons, I mean, things had changed is there was no sense for me to stay here anymore. If my, all my books were banished from public libraries, including all my children's books, and that was official, that was absolutely official, and most of the second-hand books you find of mine on internet still have a library card and a stamp discarded, and you know very well that if you, for a children's book author, because I write my stories as well as I draw them, uh, if you don't have the library market, then uh, you know, uh, and then all my books were not reprinted. Uh, politically already I had quite some serious trouble at the time of the witch huntings and uh, under my, the times of McCarthy well, um, so um, I was all I was already you know even for me to get out or if I had to leave America to 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 to, to get the permission to do so and to come back as well and I was each time questions and a question I was my name was in the black book you see so uh, after a while you get fed up with it, and uh, so uh, we went to Canada, and from Canada we went to, to Ireland. But there I've been just as busy as ever, especially in French politics for all those years. I've been at the Ministry of, of Culture and then at the Ministry of Education. Very, very busy, busy. Leader. That's another side of my life is cultural politics, especially between France and Germany. You know, I started my carri career here. New York, New York, America was for me the land of opportunity. This is a fairy tale. I lived through a whole fairy tale. And you cannot blame a country for the, for the occasional regimes of whatever is the spasms it's going through. I just happened to land in, um, in, in America <coughs> in the time of, of, of the McCarthy years, which was great in a way because it just woke up my anger and it was a challenge. And anyway, New York was a refuge for, for all the Americans who, 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 who didn't like the system. It was, it was a fortress of freedom. So, I mean, all this, all in all, everything was just fine. And I'm, I'm just delighted to be back here. Delighted to be back here. Well, I mean, you don't plan your sidelines. They kind of hit you. Suddenly you're tired with one thing or something. Suddenly you are, you know, I... Uh, 
if I keep my sanity, it's because I'm able to express myself. And you know that uh, a lot of times there's been just pure anger behind the post or behind the book. And that's just because I had to express it. And anger doesn't uh, usually can hit you very suddenly. And uh, uh, it's, I'm sorry to say anger may be not the right word because anger is, is really uh, is really blind. When I'm angry, I'm blind. And this is certainly one of my worst aspects. I have a bad temper. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, yeah, I, says I do <laughs> have a bad temper, uh, possibly a better temperament. But uh, anyway, no, this is the way I work. I work very, very quickly. I, uh, my problem, I, I have too many ideas. I have to get rid of them. And, and the world is on the, on the full moon. I mean, if, if I work on the full moon, then it just can be nonstop. Like Babylon, I conceived all the sketches of Babylon on three days of full moon. Or, or then it's a series, like the, uh, all those, those Vietnam posters, there were four, four or five, you know, they were just in, in, one, in one surge, that's how I would put it. And, uh, and uh, a lot of books are, are done like this. Suddenly I'm hit with the idea, and, and that's what I do. And I, uh, then, I, uh, then I, I stick to it. That's another miracle, too, which happened. You know, peace is always a miracle. And I think peace can only be achieve, achieved with respect and with mutual respect, which is very important. It should be taught from a very early age. Yeah. Any last words, Tommy, for... Uh, what? Any last uh, words for... Keep on trucking. <laughs> <laughs>